Brothers, this is Dr. Phil Chavez, the Men's Academy. In the Gospel of Mark, chapter 6, verses 7 through 13, which happens to be the reading for the 15th Sunday of Ordinary Time, our Lord ordains that his work be carried out by his disciples when they go out two by two. This makes great things happen. And so as the passage reads, Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for their journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. And he said to them, wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave. And whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The 12 drove out many demons and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. Brothers, let me make two points here. First, in evangelization, our Lord operates best when his disciples move in brotherhood. Effectiveness, effectiveness came in their ministry and demons were driven out, the sick were cured. Now, aside from manifesting the gospel power, the messengers themselves, they are strengthened when moving in fraternity. When brothers move together in their struggles, experiences, successes, they simply grow in personal communion. And in this way, by the love in men's hearts for each other, people better witness the gospel. That is a better witness of evangelization. It is much more about men's lives and the way they live than it is about the, the words that they speak or the miracles they perform. Now, second, brothers, what Jesus is asking from his disciples, it's pretty radical. He takes them away from their jobs and their securities in the world, and he asks them to go out as poor men without provisions. As he says, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. Now, this is contrary to how, oftentimes how we think about serving God. We often think, we men think we often need to be well-prepared, well-financed, well-equipped. But brothers, it just seems to me, deep faith brings fruit in our Lord's, Lord's vineyard more than anything else. It takes profound trust and dependence on God to go out on a limb, to work with little or nothing, to go forth forfeiting even your basic needs. This is radical. But brothers, great dependence on God enables transforming effects of the gospel. It's that simple. So brothers, spread the gospel in fraternity so people witness love for one another. And faith, remember, has power when Christians surrender even their deepest needs and trust and put their security in God alone. Brothers, God be with you.